In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add a comparison table like this. So if you are affiliate marketer and you have a website where you need to put some of your top product and need to add a comparison table like this. So in this tutorial, I will show you how you can make this kind of table in your WordPress website. So now let's get started. First, I am going to dashboard and going to add new plugin plugin add new and here i'm typing comparison table so this is the plugin we are going to install i'm going to install now and activate it so this plugin works for only gutenberg editor so if you like to use gutenberg for post in that case you can use this plugin so i'm going to post and going to edit this post and here we want to add a comparison table so for this i'm going to add a block and going to bottom area here is our table i'm selecting this and here by default there's a three column we can change our number of columns here is more options i'm selecting four also for this one selecting column four and from here we can type our table title so here i'm typing picture so first we will add our product picture then product name and then some details about our product specification and here is product price or you can set here a button and from here we can also add some style you can make our alignment center alignment left right and also we can set our vertical alignment top bottom center and here we can add border color and we can also add our title background color we can add any color as our background so now here i'm going to upload the image so i'm going to add a product image when you select here and go to right side here is image and here is upload image option so i'm clicking here set image here i already uploaded some product image i'm selecting this one and select and then here is typing a name product one here you can type your product name and here is some specification i'm just typing or adding some dummy text you can put here any text and you can also style it you can make anything bold italic or linked and now finally here we want to add a button so for this i'm just click here and go to right side and click on this link icon and yeah our button is added so here is some button style by default we can select any one and here is button url so we can set any url for this button i'm typing hashtag and by default here is open in a new tab and here is link relations no follow button title we can set also button title so when you hover over this button you can see this button title and now i'm going to save it and check it how it looks like and view post here is our table it's a comparison table and here is so congested we can add some spacing here i'm going to add block and you can type spacing yeah here is a spacer you can add here some spacing just making some space and refresh now 
yeah looks good so in this way we can add so many columns so many rows if we want to add our second product just click here and click on this icon and duplicate it yeah it's the quick way to make it duplicate but here is background color changed maybe okay first i'm changing my product image this one and product two typing two and here is some um, the same way and here maybe i changed the background color from here i'm making it to white making it to white yes and now going to update and refresh my page yeah it looks good and now I'm going to add third one duplicate it product 3 and change image selecting this one and here I'm making a title bold and save it now refresh it again so you can also style it in our own way how you want or there is another way we can import some pre-made design for table so let's check it for this i am going again to edit post and this time i am just deleting this remove block and here is another options import table so i'm going to import and here you can see several kind of pre-made design already created so you can select any one for example i am selecting this one import yeah it's much better and now we can customize this with our content just save it and check it now and refresh our page yeah it's look much better than previous one in this way we can select any pre-made design for our table and customize with our own content so this is quicker and best way to start with so here is all for today hope this tutorial will help you and if this tutorial adds some value to you please give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find my tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and welcome to my next tutorial